Hello, and when welcome to IQ Fusion. Today, we'll be discussing how the Ukraine war impacted the wealth of Russian billionaires. Despite Western sanctions and the ongoing conflict, Russia's wealthiest individuals have seen their fortunes soar, with their collective net worth increasing by $152 billion in the past year alone. Forbes, Russia's latest list of billionaires, shows that there are now 110 official billionaires in the country, added 22 new billionaires from last year. These individuals have a combined wealth of $505 billion, up from $353 billion when the 2022 list was announced. This growth can be attributed to high prices for natural resources, such as oil and metals, which Russia was able to sell to markets in China, India, and the Middle East. Interestingly, five billionaires renounced their Russian citizenship, which affected the length of the Forbes list. However, despite the exodus of some of Russia's wealthiest individuals, others have still managed to grow their fortunes significantly. Andrei Melnichenko, who made his fortune in fertilizers, is now Russia's richest man, with an estimated worth of $25.2 billion, more than double what he was worth last year. Vladimir Potanin, president and biggest shareholder of Nornickel, the world's largest producer of palladium and refined nickel, was ranked as the second richest in Russia with a fortune of $23.7 billion. Vladimir Lysen, who controls steelmaker NLMK, was placed third on the Forbes Russia list with a fortune of $22.1 billion. Many Russian billionaires have criticized Western sanctions as a clumsy and even racist tool. After President Vladimir Putin ordered troops into Ukraine on Feb 24 last year, the West imposed what it casts as the most severe sanctions in modern history on Russia's economy and some of its richest people in an attempt to punish Putin for the war. Putin said the West was trying to destroy Russia and has repeatedly touted the failure of Western sanctions to destroy the Russian economy. It's clear that the ongoing conflict has had a complex impact on the Russian economy and its wealthiest individuals. While the country has been able to weather the storm and continue to sell its natural resources, the IMF has predicted that labor shortages and the exodus of Western companies could harm the economy in the coming years. What are your thoughts on this topic? Do you think Western sanctions have been an effective tool to punish Russia for its actions in Ukraine? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. 75% of our viewers still not subscribed yet. Your subscribe work as elixir for us. Please make sure to hit bell icon to all. Bell icon is very important for further updates. Stay tuned, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.